it's been a long time coming and for once i feel like okay they decided to release this just before two of our biggest blockbusters this summer release hey what's up you guys it's me odiria kd over you back again and yes we finally got our first trailer for gladiator 2 and let me put a bit of story time into this because i love every time when they ever announce a sequel with a nostalgia bait back early on in the day my dad was a big fan of the whole gladiator viking type of movies he was always putting those movies back on on the tv and one time on Telemundo on a Sunday, he watched Gladiator with, you know, Russell Brand, Joaquin Phoenix, Maximus Meridian. Are you not entertained? I watched it alongside him and also the fact that I'm like, huh, this is my introduction to Gladiators and the whole Roman Empire and stuff like that. Okay, I get it. It's cool. But also the fact that I'm like, how are you going to announce a sequel to this? Because spoilers, if you haven't seen it, Maximus dies and the Emperor dies. So it's like what now because i feel like the story can't continue now that you lost your main your lead but also the fact that the last movie hinted that oh the kid he he's gonna be the next gladiator he's gonna be the one to take over he's gonna be the one to set things right and i'm like okay that's cool but as a story itself it's cool to leave it open-ended but unless you got something good on your hands with this it's fine because yeah the most of the cast in this is actually really impressive like paul muscal pedro pascal denzel and Connie Nielsen coming back from the first movie, which I'm like, okay, that's interesting. But uh, now that we got our first trailer, let me, let me see if all doubts will be put aside and we can just enjoy the madness. Because, yeah, I know legacy sequels are one thing, but once an occasion, whenever they do one, I feel like, yeah, Top Gun is the exception of one that took its time and it actually turned out being good and a success. Same with Avatar, but I'm like, okay, let's see if Ridley Scott can actually do something with this. Because he's hit or miss with his movies, especially with the latest Alien ones. But hopefully with Gladiator, he can actually do us right. <laughs> Three intro trailers, we gotta stop doing that again. I remember that day. I never forgot it. That a slave could take revenge against an emperor. Where were you born? I don't know. I never knew a mother nor a father. You will be my instrument. Who are you? Did you hear that crowd? The greatest temple. Pedro. The Colosseum. Oh, because this is what they believe. That's power. Historically accurate. <laughs> Up to the sharks. Okay. General Acacius, there are victories yet still to come. Rome has so many subjects. She must feed them. They can eat war. Turn slaves into gladiators, the gladiators into free men. You have something. You, I knew it from the start. Did you now? Rage. That rage is your gift. This is about survival. Survive. Hold together, and when it charges, break for the wall. Okay. Whose head could I give you that huh. satisfies <laughs> fury? The entire Roman armies. Too much. The general will do. Human beings in a Rome must fall. I need only give it a push. Weird <laughs> song choice. Game of Thrones flashbacks. Yep. This ring belonged to Maximus. Now I give it to you. What is the dream of Rome? That people are not free. I was owned. Now I will control an empire. I will not waste another generation of young men for their vanity. Strength among us! Floor. 
not bad. Okay, that was kind of cool. Yeah, Kanye song aside, everything in this trailer looks amazing. Everything looks almost close to the first one because I feel like I saw the budget on this thing. It was like around 300 something million. I'm like, okay, that's a lot of money put into something like this. I know the first one, I wouldn't say the way movies are made today versus they were back in the day. I know they use real sets, real actual environments, design, stuff like that. I know everything looked more real in the first movie compared to this end. You can tell from the flashbacks that they actually tried to release or at least somewhat at least try to at least emulate the first movie but also try to make this one its own i can tell the little pieces of cgi but at least it's not like noticeable cgi like in current day today because i feel like some of the stuff they could do with this is actually cool so in the fact that okay we got the coliseum now we can actually include water because i'm not gonna lie i'm like okay i do know that um king titus did this to at least fill the roman coliseums with water so like they, they could actually try to do water fights and somewhat accurate the fact that they actually included sharks in this which that's going to be a new way of seeing some of the fights but yeah some of the cast in here looks cool denzel i feel like okay he could have done an accent but it looks like he's going to be doing his whole alonzo training day shtick but i'm like yeah it's denzel i feel like even though it's in a roman setting i'm like nah I still see it but yeah i feel like this might actually turn out being good i know really scott is doing a thing where yeah he's back to producing again and he's especially doing that with a new alien but i wonder if a napoleon wasn't as controversial as it was because i know i saw napoleon i'm like it's fine it's not bad but suddenly i don't know why the hate got towards that movie and i feel like okay it's not as bad as people thought but i'm like okay it's fine but if gladiators is next film and he wants to bring everything from the first movie back into this and continuing the story, I'm like, okay, I'm down. I'm down for another Gladiator movie. And I'm down for another time period piece because I feel like, yeah, everything is remakes, sequels. This is a sequel by any chance. Superheroes and dystopian futures. I'm like, yeah, let's go back to a time where movies actually feel like movies and we can take this as a form of escape. Because, yeah, I'm in for a good story, good versus evil, and especially with Romans because it's been a minute since we had something like that. I know we have Netflix or Amazon doing their own streaming things with those series or those specific genres. But I'm like, yeah, it's cool to see something like this back on the big screen. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.